Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper and I'm from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent. In this uh, video clip I want to show you how we can calculate steady state concentrations in an unbranched biochemical pathway. So let's assume we have a pathway. So we have a component A and that is fed by a reaction like that. And this component A then um, gives rise to a second component, let's call it B, and this component B is then somehow degraded. Let's call the rate constant for the first reaction P, here we've got the rate constant Q, and let's call this rate constant R. And what we want to know is that when we reach a steady state, when basically nothing changes anymore, no concentration changes, a or B, they stay constant. What are actually the concentrations? How can we um, find out what these concentrations are? So first of all what we can do is we can write down our general rate equations. So we can say dA over dt, that's the rate equation for A, equals P, the constant P, this part here, what goes into A minus what goes out, so minus Q times A. And likewise for B we can write dB over dt equals what goes in, so that's this part here, equals Q times A minus R times B, that is what comes out. And our underlying assumption is that uh, these reactions are all first order reactions, but in many cases uh, this indeed is the case. Now at steady state we know that dA over dt doesn't change. So the concentration of A in the steady state uh, does not change anymore, so we can write dA over dt equals zero, and therefore we can write P minus Q times A equals zero. Uh, we can very easily solve this equation, so we bring that to the other side and we get P equals Q times A or solving for A, we know that A in this case then would be P over Q. So we can express the steady state concentration of A actually just simply by the rate constants P and Q. Now how does that work for B? It works in exactly the same way. We know that dB over dt equals zero. So Q times A minus R times B equals zero. So we can separate A and B and we get Q times A equals R times B and we can very easily solve for B. So B in this case would be Q over R times A. I just write it in a slightly different form. And we just calculated actually what A is in this case. So we calculated A equals P times Q. So I can put that simply in and I write Q over R times, and instead of A I write P over Q should be Q, and since the Q's cancel out, I get B over R. So taken together from this pathway here, a simple linear unbranched pathway, I can very easily calculate the steady state concentration for A, so A would be 
P over Q from the rate constants and B concentration is P over R. And what we see is that the steady state concentration for A depends on this and this rate constant. And the steady state concentration for B actually depends on this rate constant and this rate constant. It does not, surprisingly or not surprisingly, depend on this rate constant in between. And uh, I hope uh, this makes sense to you and uh, thank you for watching.